Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can use the Elements Plus plugin to access Photoshop LUT files, which gives you lots of presets for controlling your color inside of Photoshop Elements. Of course, the first thing you'll need to do is to have the Elements Plus plugin installed and running. If you don't have that, you can find that over at elementsplus.net. Once it's installed, come down here to Effects. Now, I'm in version 2024, and in here, if you go to the Effects panel, you'll see Color Match up here at the top. If you bring this down, you'll see Artistic, Classic, and Color Match. What you want to do here is to go into Classic, and then in the drop down here, you'll find Elements Plus. If you're in version 2023, what you'll see is Artistic up here, and then Classic. You won't see Color Match, that's new in 2024. Same thing, go into Classic, and then you'll find Elements Plus in the list. It should be at the top of the list. This is just more Elements Plus stuff that I have installed here. Now, to get to the LUT files, go over here, click on the first option. This is your color and tone module. And then over here, right hand side, come down to color lookup. So I'll double click on that. This comes in as a new layer, just choose OK. And here we go. And there are different kinds of work in here. There are 3D LUT files, abstract, and device links. Stick with the 3D LUT file. Click on this, and you'll see several that have been included here with the Elements Plus plugin. And the way these work is you click on one, it then applies those color settings onto your photo, just like that, just like having a profile set up. Let's just go through these. This one's coarse texture. Here's a cold contrast, desaturate colors, desaturate warms, more of a black tone, fill light. Here's a grunge look, midtone contrast, nightfall effect, Pandora, kind of odd looking thing, platinum, very odd looking, a polarizer, saturate neutrals, works out well actually for this photograph, soft texture, sunshine, it's kind of nice, warm contrast, and warm glow. So it has all of those that come with the Elements Plus plugin, but you're not limited to just these. These are all Photoshop LUT files, and you can get more Photoshop LUT files online. And there are hundreds that you can get for free. There are thousands if you want to pay a little bit, but there are hundreds that are free. Let me show you where you can get that. I'll just choose OK, and you see that these come in as an adjustment layer, so I can show or hide that. There's that effect. OK, I'll bring up a web browser, and let's do a quick search over on Google and let's find some free LUT files. Here we go, I just did a search for free Photoshop LUTs, and there are a whole bunch in here. Now, most of these will require that you enter an email address, and they'll then send you the link for downloading the LUT files, but they are free, so that's worth it. But I found some over at Shutterstock, so let's type in Shutterstock here, and here we go, 48 free custom LUTs to enhance your log footage. Now, this is saying that this is for video, but these also work in Photoshop Elements as still LUTs. So let's click on this and scroll down just a little bit and click on free LUTs to download now. There it is. And then download the free LUTs here. And then save this someplace on your hard drive where you can find it easily. There we go. That's done. Let me bring up that folder. Here it is. Comes down as a zip file. I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to extract all right there. I'm in Windows 11 right now. Choose extract. That's done. Let's go inside of this. There's a coupon for Shutterstock. And then here are the free LUTs. And they're just like this. These say cube at the end. If you don't see that dot cube in here, it's not important. But if you want to see that, just go up here to view, come down to show, and put a check here next to file name extensions, and you'll see the cube. We can access these from inside of Photoshop Elements. Let me bring that back up again. Here we go. Let's go back over to effects. And we're still in the Elements Plus. Let's click on the color and tone. Go to color lookup. Double click on that. Choose OK. This makes a new layer for it. And then in here, where it says Load 3D LUT, click on that. And this should bring up a drive window for you. If it doesn't, just try it a couple of times, and they'll bring up a drive window. And then let's go inside of the drive window. There's our Shutterstock free LUTs. And we can now try each one of these. Now, these are going to be staying here. These will not be added into the list that's included in the dialog box here. So you'll have to access this each time you want to do this. But we'll take a look at these. Here's Blue Architecture. Just bring this up a little bit like that. There we go. I'm going to see that better. Load. There it is. That's kind of interesting. Go back in here. Click on the Load 3D again. Let's try our next one. Blue Hour and Load. There it is. Kind of exaggerated look, but that's not too bad. Here's Cold Chrome. So you can see very easy to use these. And since there are literally hundreds of these free that you can get online, it's a simple way to get just loads and loads of free color presets here kind of like you would have in some of the other programs that are out there. And all in one has this kind of thing. Luminar has this kind of thing. Here's how you can do this inside of Photoshop Elements. 
Same exact thing. Notice though, as I do these, they don't show up in this list again. So they're not gonna be added to the list. You'll have to load them each time from your folder, but that's not that big of a deal. Just save these into a folder that you set up for LUTs and you should be just fine. Just try one more of these. Magic Hour should be kind of a warm look. There we go. Again, this is part of the Elements Plus plugin, which is in my opinion, dirt cheap at $12. This is just one of those ways that this adds in a lot of Photoshop functionality back into Photoshop Elements. If you want to find out more about how to use the Elements Plus plugin, I'm working on a whole section of articles about how to use this, which I have inside of the HTG Photo Coach program. If you don't have that, I'll put a link for that right there and in the description. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, and I'll see you next time.